You'll find him again. Someday. I really should be getting hit by these things more. Ow, like that. This does not do a ton of damage. Hmm, I don't like, I don't like. That's better. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, for the very least it's knockback, which is nice to have. A little bit of. More enemies. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. He just exploded. Okay, four keys, which is pretty good. Uh, let's also check. That way is the exit, apparently. So this way is gonna be the treasure. Let me do that first. I'm glad that I can check that. It's fine. Ow, what a shot. You know? I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Really, more stuff? Okay. It's fine. That was a good random shot from my chair. Thank goodness. Just need to stay alive. We're good, almost. More regular enemies. Which is nice to see. Rather than this tough stuff. Tougher stuff. Oh, that was not careful at all. Safe later. We have two of those now. We've reached the uh, the treasure, so let's open that up. Ooh, that's actually pretty good, but it is cursed, so we're gonna have to worry about that now. Elder blank. Okie dokie. Well, I can use that. I did say I needed something to not get hit by things with. And that kind of does that, so. Please no. Take everything. Take everything. Okay, we're good. Need to remember to use my blank if I need it. And there's the boss, so... I switch over to... Strong, strong Gun. Dueling Laser. Let's take a look at this. Do that. This is not going well. Gotta say, he has a lot more health than I'd like. Ah, oh, what are you doing to me? I don't know if these are gonna do great, but that's okay. Also, the everything in this fight is so interesting compared to the other version. You know? I feel like I say you know too much. A lot. How? Can you stop this madness? Me? <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking to. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. This is not a great weapon for this, apparently. I'm gonna try and destroy this. Dealing laser. How? Oh! You are just plain rude. I might better get this to work. Pretty well. Maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna die. Yep. That's a shame. That's such a shame. We had such good stuff. And if we had made it to the 
the maze. We could have used the compass for that. I should have uh, gone back to the shop and bought ammo, but it's fine. Let me quickly go back to the breach and just check some stuff. Also, my cat jumped from my chest to a platform earlier. And in doing so, he also scratched my chest, which just hurts. Not fun. They have no regard for the safety of people. Eleven more. What? How? Why? Why? So many. R r why is it registered? <laughs> I don't know. Strafe registered gun. Morning star. That's a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. I need so much more money though. And the thing is, I don't really want, I don't really have a reason to do the modifiers unless it's going to actually give me something. I don't know. Could roll the bones. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Ah, it's fine. I just don't feel good about any of this. It's not like I can just play in my own time and try to grind, really. Because every run is an opportunity to learn. I don't know. Everything happens every run, so... I could try this again. I feel, I feel like that's a bad idea. But I could. I feel like I want a modifier for that, possibly. Rainbow chest or blessed run, or both. That was smooth. Also, thank you for the lockpick. Cartographer's ring. See how well that works for us. Maybe. If at all. I should probably check my phone at some point. I have no idea where it is there. Where's my phone? Listen, this is more important than Gungeon. You know it? It's in my pocket. The whole time. <laughs> I'm so good at this. I just... Oh, it's fine. I'm just gonna drink my coffee and shut up. I don't know. <laughs> so why don't I pause mid-combat? It seems like a weird thing for me to do, but I also did it, so... There's no denying that I did such a thing. How'd that one go down first and not the other one? There we go. Well, there's water right here, so let's use it. Also, I'm very sad because we also had cash brick. Brick of cat crack. I can't say cash. Why can't I say cash? I don't know. So careful. Don't worry about it. We're fine. Blah. Nope, not fine. More enemies, of course. Just to make the experience a little bit better. More enemies. The music is so good. I have to appreciate that again. Still this far in and we're appreciating music. I feel like I didn't kill one of those uh, rubber bullets, but that's okay. It might have been a different enemy. Just didn't realize it or something. So I'm gonna loop these enemies. With that. Very satisfying. No! I'm fine. Somehow. Not forgetting the key. There's the boss. I don't have a weapon to check for secrets, but I feel like there's a secret there anyway. Key? Come back, key. I don't know if I can get that in time. Nope, it's gone. I just want key. Why do they have to run away and then disappear? <laughs> Why can't they just shoot at me? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there are enemy other enemies do that, so. Why is there so much? How do I miss? I'm so bad. 
I mean, it's very easy to miss because of how much the shots spread out, but it's fine. I just can't hit this thing. There we go. First try. Oh, so hello. I do like the, like, uh, just, like, debris on the ground. I like, I like the debris on the ground. I also don't like getting hit by stuff. Ah, I also like when I don't die and when I play well. You know, it's just, uh, wait, wait, no, wait, I do, I like, I like when I play well, not when I, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's fine. Everything's fine. Hey, shop. Hello. I don't need to worry about keys right now, so that's good. There's the secret. Let's go grab that. I don't know how I figured that out. Then we have some redemption. Wind up gun will be good to have. Nope, not today. I don't know how that even worked. I don't know. I'm just going to use my weapons because it probably just makes more sense to live than to die. Trying. I don't know what I'm trying to say at this point. I need to actually check possibly what the stuff in the shops are. Blup. Of course I didn't get hit by the rubber blip, I got hit by the other thing. It's fine. All fine. Please be good. Actually, I need to lockpick this, don't I? I failed. Okay, bit of health. It's probably worth it. We already have a gun. Other than our first one, so that's pretty good the boss, maybe, hopefully. I don't think I'm going to get much else, so. I don't have a lockpick ready. My lockpick ready. My lockpick ready. That works. Cool. I didn't have any charge, though. Cool. Ah, boss. I feel like wind-up gun, you have to actually hold the button down to get the full value. But I don't know, so. The bullets seem to change after the a while, so. They start to like, thin out or something. Possibly do more damage or something, I don't know. Ah. Why gun? Bullet hell, why? It's fine. Why do I agree to play and get into the gungeon? <laughs> I mean, I, enjoy, I I love this game, but also, I'm so bad at it. It's so easy to be bad at it, though, because it's so difficult. I mean, it's fairly difficult. It depends on what stuff you have active and unlocked, and how lucky you are. I really want to take out the other one, please. You're so close to halfway. I'm not getting much credit for this. There we go, finally. Just need to focus on not dying for a second. So I actually won't just get stuck on this floor forever. Maybe that would be an alright thing, I, I don't know. Um, fine. Let me check uh, the breach stuff. Okay, that's interesting. So apparently, the shop up here is all liquid based items. And guns. So that's interesting. Uh, the... Obviously the one over here... Which I thought was just active items, is actually just... Realistic items, which I think just means like, you can find these in real life, and they... Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, also they all have names, which is interesting. He says name. Uh, that's one. 
new items and guns. Doesn't actually say any so apparently I just don't understand how this works exactly. With each NPC, but they just have sets of stuff probably. Um Yeah, there's nothing that crazy. Also, if I talk to the the drunkard, does he have anything new to say? The dead king. You've ended his reign for good, and have now gl and ha now have glimpsed the forge with your own eyes. Not many can say the same. Do you feel proud? Heh. <laughs> a lich beneath the forge, in a mysterious sixth chamber. Why return to me over and over? Why torment me like this? What is there in place? Uh, in this place left for you? Please, just leave me. Hmm. What now? I don't feel like chatting. Leave me. Okay. It's fine. I can also have a look at the stuff in the side room up here as well. I don't think I'm going to be doing another run this episode, just so you know. Um, okay. Also, I think I got everything from uh, the elevator guy. Interesting. So apparently this for six hege uh, hegemony, I don't know. Or one, uh, will enable, oh, it's one if you failed this challenge 30 times, but he'll enable challenge mode for the next turn. So challenge mode, I don't know what that means. I can check though, which is why the whole point of this right now is learning, learning things. I don't know. Um, in challenge mode, each room is affected by modifiers, making the game more challenging. Interesting. Available to rescue after interacting with the the shrine three times, or by freeing him from the cell. After defeating High Dragon once. Okay. So there's a lot of interesting stuff that goes into before you can even do this. Oh. There's actually stuff that will unlock for reaching different levels with this on. So it might be worth to do that. And defeating the High Dragon also unlocks something. There's a bunch of stuff and there's a lot of modifiers as well. Interesting. Uh, who else is here? Actually, is the uh, hang on. Oh, interesting. I don't know if I've unlocked that yet. Hang on, let me wait on that for the moment. So apparently, these two, if I do their challenges ten times, which I might have done, Shuffle off. Maybe I haven't done those the challenges ten times successfully. But apparently there's a unlock for doing that. Who's that? Ah, uh, there's also another character we haven't unlocked yet. Tonic will enable turbo mode. I this, this is the weird thing about this is it's not linking to whatever the other thing is. I might have to look up some more stuff quickly. <laughs> Hang on, it's fine. Rain mode, obviously. Already unlocked the blast helmet. And Winchester doesn't have to do anything in the... the thing. I'm just checking to see if there's anything that unlocks for doing certain things in the breach, which I don't think there is, really. So, we're fine. I also want to check the bosses quickly, because we did a whole bunch of stuff, but there's still a whole bunch of hidden stuff. Which interests me, which I think is actually just like the black powdered mine and something else. Although this concerns me that Lich is there. Although maybe there's some more subfloor stuff that I have to do or something. I don't know. That's from the uh, different timelines, which is cool. There's so much stuff. How is there so much stuff? <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Interesting. Wait, what? Did I miss something because of something? I might have missed something entirely. Just 
I probably should have done this ages ago, in fact, probably. This could be the easiest thing to miss. If I go into the holes of knowledge, apparently... <laughs> oh my goodness, am I an idiot? Maybe. Because I go in here because I think this is the, the tutorial. But I think there's actually something for doing the tutorial. Where would Saul approach me and press E to speak? For it is I, Sir Manuel. That's funny. Heed my words, and I shall show you how to survive this accursed labyrinth. Continue through the door to begin your tutelage. I think that's how you pronounce that. Onwards to greatness. Try flipping these tables, or kicking those barrels with the E button. You can use those as cover in a gunfight. Yeah, get angry. Excellent. Interacting, pupil. Proceed to the next room. Yeah, tenth place up. I'll clean it later. Nice rolling skills. You need those later. Oh, that's cool. There's nothing in any of those. You know? But they will stop a bullet. I really should have done this immediately. Why did I not do this immediately? <laughs> I should have, This should have been episode 1 stuff, not episode 100 and something something. Uh, this is the most important lesson. You can dodge roll by pressing right click in and a direction. You are invulnerable to gunfire during the first half of your dodge roll, but vulnerable again when you hit the ground. This means you can dodge through bullets and other hazards. It requires pre precise timing. When you give the word, it'll open the barrier. Use the dodge roll to uh, reach the right side of the room without perishing. Wait until the last second, then press right cl click to begin the roll. Are you ready to begin the test? Go. Ready? Go. This is the practice I need. <laughs> nice, we made it to the other side of the line. Nice work. The dodge roll is the prayer of the Gungeon and the Gungeon provides for its d devotees. No one knows why. It only works in the Gungeon. Only that the Gungeon provides. You must muster the dodge roll. Master the dodge roll if you must wish to master the Gungeon. Go to the next room for the dodge roll lesson number two. Impressive. And imp imp pass. You use your dodge roll to get past. Okay. Approach the edge from right click to jump up the gap. Yep, cool. I should probably not be taking this long, but I like his text and what he has to say. So I can just get past all of this. The door is open, but uh, you've got one last pit to cross. Time it well. It's a difficult one, sir. Get through the door. Hello. The dodge roll is uh, the first and best way to avoid dying in gunfight. Sometimes, though, the number of bullets can be overwhelming. For instance, there's no dodging through that, but there is a way to clear the path. These are called blanks. Using one will delete any enemy projectiles in a room and stop enemies from shooting for a short period. They also push nearby enemies away. Great if you need a second to reposition. Pick them up by walking over to them. Use them by pressing the Q button. Use a blank to clear the way of the bullets and quickly make it through the gap. And then dodge roll. Excellent! Blanks refill every floor, so use them when you need to. They can be found throughout the gungeon. But I wouldn't really... Re I wouldn't rely on that. Onward. I wouldn't really rely on that was what I was trying to say, which would have made, made, made sense, so... You've got the basics. Taffer, I suppose you've earned a reward. A gun befitting your stature and experience. Go on, open it. I got a pea shooter. Baby's first gun. Okay, this is also probably gonna unlock because of this, possibly. Ah, maybe. Use the mouse to aim and left click to fire. Why did I not do this earlier? Reload with the R button. But first, you need something to shoot. One of the gungeon's natural inhabitants, cruel, savage, and bloodthirsty. Oh, he's got a gun! It's, it's a bullet, it's got a gun! Now! Kill him! Wow, that's just brutal. Cold-blooded, truly you are ruthless. You're the one who told me to do it! I got money from it, though. Next rooms will be real gunfights. Kill the enemies in, in each room, and the doors will open. I'll meet you in a few rooms ahead, now go! I mean, it's not a very strong gun, but also... It's a gun to have, probably, so... 
And it might have been good to have much earlier in the game. When you're first starting out, so... It makes cool sounds. And maybe it can combine with other things to make better weapons, combinations, stuff. Yawn. He made it. You know how to dodge rob, shoot, and use blanks, but there's more to learn. You need to know how to use items that don't exist in gun form. This med kit, for example, which will replenish your health. Pick it up, approaching it, and hitting the E button. You've got plenty of health right now, so don't use it yet. But when you think you need it, jam the space button to use it. Okay, head through, on through. Interesting. You see that thing on the other side? That's a teleporter. This is a very helpful tutorial. <laughs> Whenever you find one, you can always return there as long as you aren't in combat. To use it, first open the map by holding tab and then clicking the teleporter symbol you wish to warp to. Got it? Or should I explain again? Good, now use the teleporter to cross the gap. That's a cool thing. Remember, you can warp to any teleporter on the map, not just the ones in the same room, but they won't work if you are in combat. If you press E while standing on that portal, you can use it to teleport back to where you were. I'll be waiting a few rooms north of here. You should explore. Try to find a uh, better gun before you challenge the boss. Uh, also, it's a little bit misleading because it told me that you can't use it, the teleporters during combat, but you, you can use it, I think, Hang on. I'm pretty sure you can teleport out of a room, but you can't teleport into the room uh, during combat. So, yeah, you can teleport out of a room, I think. Possibly? No, you can't. Okay, interesting. So I've just been... I guess I haven't really done that before, so I don't know why I thought it would be possible. But anyway, let's explore a whole lot. There's a lot more to this tutorial than I realized. There's a sort of secret here that we can find. That's cool. I wonder if that's a, like, a secret secret, or if you have to, like, come back for that. Is this a unlock? Old Knight's Shield, heavy with experience. P Cannon. See, I was right, you can un unlock more things here. Old Knight's Shield unlocked. Why did I not play the tutorial? I'm so dumb. It's fine. Old Knight's Helm protects knowledge. Tutorialized. I'm ah, so mad at myself. Old Knight's Helm Unlocked. Ah, ah, ah. Why did- why- 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 ah. I'm so mad. Just because I've not played the tutorial and there's so many unlocks I can get which should be helpful. No, I'm pla- I'm- I'm recording this before episode 1 goes up. So you can probably tell. I can already tell that there's gonna be comments telling me to do this. If you have two or more guns, hold left control. To slow time, if you want- what? <laughs> Hang on. If I have two or more guns, okay. Left control to switch guns. I can like pause to switch guns. Why did I not play this tutorial ever? It makes so much sense. <laughs> it makes so much sense. Ah! I'm this far in and learning new things. Oh, it's sad. It's so sad. I can. <laughs> oh my goodness! All, all, all these episodes that I am gonna have comments on, telling me to do things correctly. I'm sorry. I should have listened to the future. Pick with me when you're ready for the ch your final challenge. Are you ready to put it off? To your You've learned the test. Let's do this. Then, face me in single combat. Let's begin. Well, easy boss, I guess. I also have so many good things on me for this. Because of finding the secret. Look at all that money! Look at all that money! How much is that? Oh my gosh. I'm an idiot for not doing this earlier. You could unlock so many things. But also, it's kind of good to get it now. Wait, that shield! You found my shield! So you're dead? Lore. Which means you know my terrible secret. It's true, I never conquered the Gungeon. I am no longer sure this is even the Gungeon. How humiliating. Hum humiliating. 
It's all that bastard's fault. That snake block Blockner. We were supposed to be partners. But shortly after we arrived, I was shot in the back. When I awoke, I was trapped in some kind of chest. I called out for help, but no one came. I'm sure that was him who shot me. I think he wanted the gun for himself, but he must not have made it. How do you know he didn't make it? Because if Blockner had cha changed the past, he would never have come to the gungeon, and neither would I. But I'm still here, so he must not... He must have left. Okay. Or maybe he's stuck in the gungeon too. He would serve the bastard right. If you find him, tell him Manny says hi. If you know what I mean. Got it. Anyway, I've got nothing left to teach you. Good luck with the gungeon and your past. That'll do. Go on. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Quickly. Uh, it does look like there's nothing else on the map to worry about, so I think I do have everything. But we've unlocked more things now, which is good. Let's finish this off quickly. By going down, I guess. No more secrets, I hope. Just, I should have done that so much earlier, but also it's going to be nice having this extra money now. So it is kind of helpful doing this later on, but you probably want to check that out earlier. If you're playing for the first time. So what do I want to unlock then? The star whatever thing sounded interesting. Morning star. Cool. We've unlocked more things just by doing that. I'm so upset myself. Ah, so many helpful things. <laughs> Let's also check over this way again. Uh, yeah, there's nothing here. But I think now, we can also find his friend. The friend of Sir Manuel. It's so, it's so interesting. But anyway, that's probably it for now. Maybe? Maybe not. Yeah, I think it's, ne it's for now. Just so I can... Put the whole of the tutorial in one video. But anyway, that is it for now, so thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.